Hey, it's Joe. I've got another video for you. Uh, this one is about outsourcing. Uh, the question I got is from Terry Geyser from uh, El Paso, Texas. Dear Joe, you always say that if I want to really make money as a real estate investor, I need to hire an assistant, but I just can't afford it. Do you have any suggestions? Well, um, first of all, you have to know what you're doing before you start outsourcing business. You don't want to start paying other people to do work for you until you know that that work is going to be productive for you and that uh, the, the, the leads that it brings you in uh, is going to get you to cash as quickly as possible. So uh, let's, let's, let's first of all look at, the, at your business in general and how you want to, to build it. First of all, you want to learn how to, I suggest, during, doing the for rent method first, learn how to do that process, how to talk on the phone, how to, how to get sellers to accept your offer, uh, what to say to them using the scripts, using, getting them to say, say yes in this process. Uh, that's the first thing. You want to get to the money first, and once you get a deal together, you put get a buyer. Uh, you, you you do all the grunt work yourself. You take the phone calls. You run some ads yourself. You make that all happen yourself, and you make some cash. Maybe you do that once. Maybe you do it twice. Maybe three times. Then you realize you're so overwhelmed with leads coming in, stuff coming in from all the the work that you've been doing, that you need some help. And you also know that if you get some help, it's going to make you focus on the things that make you the most money, and it's going to put them on the things that just administrative work, things that uh, just need somebody with a very low level of skill. You can get somebody for 6 or $8 an hour on Elance to do this work for you. Uh, and I show you exactly how to do that, by the way, and I even give you emails to, to send uh, you know, or, or to post job, job postings that you can use on Elance or Rent-A-Coder or any of those places where you can find administrative people to do this work for you. Uh, and it's very easy. You just want to be very specific about you know, what you want, and that's why I wrote these, these, uh, these uh, job postings so that you can get these people. Um, uh, so, so Elance, I think, is one of the best ones out there. There's a bunch of sites like this. Uh, I use Elance all the time because it's easy and I can, it's all in one place and I can go back to all the jobs that I've got going and I can communicate with them and I can pay them through Elance. Uh, so I really like that, that process. But I also, uh, whenever I want to test something new or try a new campaign or, or some, try something new, I'll go get somebody new at Elance or I'll use somebody that I'm already working with that, that needs some more work and I'll, I'll, I'll make that happen. And these people, maybe they're in Bangalore, uh, maybe they're in Wisconsin, maybe they're in California, maybe they're in the UK, uh, maybe they're in Pakistan. Uh, I've got people all over the world doing stuff for me uh, virtually. Uh, and doing stuff, helping me sell properties in Indiana and the other states that I'm working in. And you can do the same thing. It's really not difficult. It's really not very expensive. And if you combine this with the other websites that I've given you, with the autoresponders that I've given you, with the voice blast technology that I've given you, uh, with the email technology that I've given you, all these things together uh, make an incredible system to, to, to bring in business all the time. But ultimately, you're going to have to outsource this work or you're going to be overwhelmed by it. Now, I've got some, some folks right now that are, have been in my program for a few months. They're making a lot of money. They're doing you know, five or six deals a month right now. So they're, they're making good money. They, but they were making a few hundred thousand dollars a year uh, in, their, in their job. And they want to quit their jobs, but they want to replace that money before they do that. Well, now it's getting to the point where they're, they're, they're doing so much work you know, because they're still doing the grunt work, they need to automate or they won't be able to get their income up enough to replace that of their income because their time won't be as usefully spent. So I'm helping them through this process of getting their, uh, their income up uh, using outsourcing, using automation, using other people to help them do that. And they're in a position to do that because they've got business coming in, they've got cash coming in, they've got a sustainable business. And once you learn the basics, then your business can just start snowballing and everything will get out of control and you're going to have to figure out how to make this work. I've already figured it out. I've already got these things in place. And those are the things on all these videos that I've been talking about. How to automate your business, how to outsource it. Outsourcing is going to be uh, one of the most important things uh, that you should do. Now, some of the things that you can outsource are things like uh, uh, outsourcing, developing your Twitter leads, um, software development, uh, for sale by owner uh, campaigns, buyer leads, posting ads, email management, voicemail uh, transcriptions. Uh, I mean, there's, there's lots, lots of things that you can do. You're going to want to use more than one person when you outsource. Don't have one person do all the work for you. If you find somebody local that you can really trust and, and they're cheap and, and they'll work for you and, and you can monitor them, Okay, uh, maybe that makes sense. 
but I prefer to have five different people doing the tasks uh, on a part-time basis. So if one of them screws up, one of them, you lose one of them, one of them, you know, something happens in their life and they can't do it anymore, whatever, uh, it's easy to, to, to get somebody else to replace that small piece of the pie and keep everything else going. If you have one person who's doing all this work for you and they already know how to do everything uh, and then they leave, uh, then you're kind of screwed. You've got to start over from scratch. You've got to find somebody who can take all this stuff on immediately rather than just finding one person to do one task and doing it that way. So uh, you've got to find a balance here. I've got some people, uh, I've only got uh, two employees right now, my mom and my dad. And uh, they've been working with me for a long, long time, and they help me with my administrative stuff uh, for uh, this, this information business. They don't do much with the real estate aspects of it. Uh, everything else that I have, even in, my, even in my information business, is outsourced. I've got lots of people who do different things, independent contractors who different, do different things. That way, I don't have to pay payroll tax. I can just 1099 them at the end of the year, which I don't do, by the way. I have that outsourced to a bookkeeper who handles all that, who then submits all that stuff to my... Uh, CPA and it's all taken care of for me. All I have to do is sign on the bottom line, check the numbers, make sure they're right. You know, I get together with my bookkeeper uh, twice twice a month and we sit down and make sure all the bills are paid and uh, I, I just, it takes us an hour and I look over everything. She gives me all the details on how much money's come in, how much money's gone out, how much we made last year versus how much money we made this year in each of the different corporations that I have and each of the different businesses that I have so that I know uh, a, a good overall picture of what's going on in my business uh, every two weeks. Uh, and, you, you know, when you get your businesses up and running to that level, you'll need to do the same thing. Anyway, the, the, the thing I want you to take away from here, uh, from this video, is that you can outsource all of the administrative work just by hiring somebody to do it. Uh, it's very, very cheap. You're talking 20 bucks a week, uh, 40 bucks a week, depending on what you want to do for each different thing. If that person brings you back thousands of dollars because of the work they've done and freeing up your time so that you can do those things, or they just free up your time so that you can live your life and have a higher quality of life, it, it makes all the difference. So, all right, thanks now. Bye-bye.